What is up, Beta Ray brothers and sisters? Beta Ray Jim here with a new video, and today we're going to talk about the top five mistakes I made when I first started getting into collecting oversized hardcovers. And if you're thinking about getting into the game, you're definitely going to want to check this video out. It's going to be pretty good. Let's do this. And thank you everyone for being here. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. I've got more beta reviews coming up, more top fives, all kinds of good stuff coming up. You're not going to want to miss it. So let's get started here. Top five mistakes I made when I first started collecting Omnis, Absolutes, hardcovers, things like that. And I got to say the very first one, and this might be the biggest of them all, stretch that spine. It's so important to properly stretch the spine of your hardcovers. Take a look at this. The best way, there's a few YouTube videos out there on how to do this, but the best way to stretch your spine is to open up the hardcover flaps like you see here, and then a few pages to the left, a few pages to the right, and slowly do that. And you'll wanna do that a few times, actually. You'll wanna do it probably two or three times. And if you're reading the omnibus, and you know, the, if you're reading the book and such, and it's taking you a while to read it, because I know sometimes it'll take me a week, two weeks or to get through a book, you know, I'll put it down and come back to it. Every once in a while when you read it, you'll want to open it up and, you know, stretch that spine out. Otherwise you get detachments and you can cause damage to the book. It's best to stretch that spine. Now I've been told there's actually one real way you're supposed to do that. And that's to go page by page one after the other. And that just, oh my goodness, that seems like it would take forever. Some of these books are like a thousand, 1200 pages, you know, and to do that, to go through every single page. And it also does something else. When you do it like that, you're really going to ruin some of the story. You're, you know, so there's going to be spoilers. You can't help but look down at the pages. So you're definitely going to ruin some of it. So from what I've been told, it's fine just to do clumps, you know, little, you don't want to do giant clumps, of course, but little sections of the book. Try not to spoil too much of the book, you know, when you do that, obviously. But number one mistake I made, I didn't do this with some of my books and I can see the damage that I've caused here. And uh, yeah, make sure you stretch that spine. Very important. Moving on to number two would be the plastic wrap. Now, when I first started collecting, I did not unwrap my books unless I had read them. You know, before I, you know, if I wasn't going to read the book, stayed in the wrap. And it wasn't until I started watching some other videos on YouTube when I realized, wow, their collection looks a lot better than mine. What, what, oh, they took the books out of the plastic wrap. And looking at books on the shelf in the plastic wrap, it just doesn't look the same. They look so much more exuberant, I guess is the word, you know, I'll, I'll have to Google that to make sure that applies. But yeah, they look great when you, when you take the plastic wrap off, the, the spines really pop and it, it's just fantastic. Make your collection look as good as possible. Take the plastic wrap off. You won't regret it. I promise you won't regret it. Tip number two, take off that plastic wrap. And for the third tip, this one is, is also important. This one's probably just as important as number one. Yeah, maybe not, maybe not. But this one's pretty important. The dust jacket. Make sure when you're going to read an omnibus, remove the dust jacket, take it off. Don't keep the dust jacket on when you read it. There's no sense in doing it. You're just going to damage the dust jacket. It's just going to get in the way. You could rip it. You could tear it. You could, you could, get, you could stain it or something. You know, Take off that dust jacket. And what I like to do is when I get a book out to read, I'll take the dust jacket off and then I'll put the dust jacket back in the slot where the book goes in my collection. So it still looks beautiful. And I can read my book, you know, keep it over by my recliner or, you know, bedside table, whatnot. Wherever I read my books, you know, the, the book can go with me wherever I want to bring it. And my collection still looks complete and doesn't have a giant hole there somewhere. So tip number three, remove the dust jacket while you're reading it. Save yourself a lot of trouble and possibly even some potential damage. And as a little bit of a bonus tip here, I don't really like to let anyone borrow my Omnis. But if you do decide to let somebody borrow an Omnibus... A really good way to do this, and, and shout out to uh, Gem Mint Collectibles. He's the one that actually taught me this. Uh, Gem Mint says that if he ever lets somebody borrow an Omni, what he'll do is he'll take the dust jacket off and leave it on his shelf and then give them the book. And that way it'll be kind of a reminder like, hey, where, where's the book that goes with this? Oh yeah, I let Steve borrow it or whatnot. So yeah, that might be a good tip for you, a little bonus tip. So for my fourth tip and fourth mistake I made, I should say, 
make sure you're buying from a reputable seller. And this has to do with shipping. Now, I've bought books from Amazon and eBay, and they have shown up with almost no padding at all. And the spines are all blasted out, and the books are dinged and dented and damaged. And it's such a pain to have to return the books and wait for them to come back. And I've always been like, well, maybe I can just settle for it in my collection. Do I really want to wait and risk getting another damaged book back? Which has happened. So just make sure you're buying from somebody that's a reputable source. Check those reviews if you do have to buy from Amazon, if you do have to buy from eBay. In general, though, I definitely don't recommend it. There's some good sellers you can buy from. You're going to have to wait for another video. So be sure to hit that subscription bell and you won't miss the video I have coming up, which will be the top three places I recommend to buy Omnis, hardcovers, Absolute, all that good stuff. And as you well know now, it's not eBay and it's not Amazon. Or is it? Maybe you'll have to watch the video to find out. Might have thrown a little curveball there. And so for my fifth and final tip, fifth mistake that I made when buying books, overpaying for your books. Don't overpay for your books. Most of these books come with an MSRP of $125. So when I first got into this, I thought, oh, 10% off, that's pretty good. 20% off, that's great. It really isn't. I mean, depending on the book that you're getting. If the book is out of print, I wouldn't recommend paying any more than cover price. Now, if you're paying cover price for a book that's been been out of print for a while, you may actually be getting a good deal. But I would never pay any more than cover price for a book. Just be patient. Check other sellers. You may be able to find the book. And sometimes they do stealth reprints. You may be able to get a book, like just recently, Conan the Barbarian, The Marvel Years, Volume 1, which was going for probably two, $300 on eBay. They did a stealth reprint. Suddenly it's back in stock. Fantastic. I love when they do that. Be patient. You can get the books that you want. Don't overpay for your books. There are some sites that will offer up to 50% off their books. And sometimes even on other sites, you can find some really, really good deals. So, and there we have it. Those are my top five tips or my five biggest mistakes I made when I first started collecting Omnis. So if you're thinking about getting into collecting, hopefully this video will help you out and prevent you from making some of the same mistakes I did. And thank you for watching. Please hit that like if you enjoyed the video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. There's more to come in the future and I'll catch you later. So thanks for watching all the way to the end, guys. I really appreciate the support. Time for a little bonus tip for those of you that stuck around. And that's... When you're buying your hardcovers is to don't shop when you're intoxicated. Maybe this will be a giveaway. We'll see. All right. Catch you later.